Could this be another team unit play here? Colorado Rapids hosting Toronto FC. The Rapids disappointing 4-1 loss to Sporting Kansas City, but they've been on a roll and they're still seventh place in uh, overall in terms of the points in four, with 47 and still third place uh, or make that fourth place in the Western Conference, but within three points of second place. So this is a big game for them going up against an inferior side in Toronto FC, who lost at home to Columbus Crew's second team. 2-0 was the final. Lorenzo Insigne came off with about 21 minutes to go, and John Herdman post-match basically called out Insigne, saying, well, his calf tightened up, and we need players like him on the field. This is why we're paying him to go out and win games like this. Yikes. Plus one th- or 331 if you want to back TFC in this one. They still have those cluster injuries at the back. Wingo, Long will be a question mark. Uh, Gomis is out. Shane O'Neill will be returning through suspension. Jonathan Osorio also left the game through injury, and that could be another significant loss for TFC heading into this one. The total is set at three. We all like a side on this. Let's see how similar it is. Dan, we'll start with you. Which direction are you going between the Rapids and TFC? I know. Finally, I, I have a play that was on the sheet before the show started. It, it feels like it's, it's been a while with all these games we've broken down. Uh, both teams to score has played in eight straight Colorado games. So let's start there. Let's start with the fact that over two and a half has cashed in 10 out of Colorado's last 11 games. And now let's factor in that the Colorado Rapids are absolute studs at home. A lot of that has to do with the fact that traveling to altitude is no joke. 7-0-2 run at home here for this uh, this Colorado side. Um, also, I like the fact that they're coming off of just a brutal 4-1 loss. Heavy motivation to bounce back against a mediocre side. Initially, what I was looking for here was maybe the patented both teams to score, no draw. But I don't think you have to worry about Toronto coming in on the road and stealing a game here, or uh, Toronto stealing a game here from Colorado. I also find it really hard to handicap this Toronto offense that is just so starkly different from home and away. So uh, over one and a half is the way that I'm going to tie it in. With the better team, you get it at even money, Colorado over. One and a half, the play for me. I like this one quite a bit, gentlemen. And it's sounding like we're all rapid did up here for uh, for this uh, game coming this weekend because I think we're all liking Colorado. We are indeed rapid did up. I should yeah. also mention yeah. TFC plays in Vancouver on Wednesday in the Canadian yep. Championship. Bob, the floor is yours. Yeah, I'm going the same way. I had the exact same bet. Colorado Rapids and over one and a half goals at plus 100. Rapids 9-3 and 2 at home. That is no joke. They are making that a fortress. Toronto 4-3 and 8 away. Like all that, um Rapids are undefeated in 9 home matches, really making it, you know, a, a really tough place to go in and play. Toronto's uh beaten a has not beaten a playoff team since Houston on August 25th. Before that, their last win against a playoff team was Orlando back in early April. Toronto giving away 1.7 goals per game. And, uh, you know, that makes the over one and a half likely. Again, I try, kind of wanted to simplify things, not take an over both teams to score and really, you know, kind of ju- juice the orange a little too hard there. The team's going to win. They score one and a half goals a bunch of the time. So Colorado Rapids over one and a half, even money. That's the official play here. Wheels are falling off of Toronto FC. We just see it calling out Insigne. That tends to tell me that he might not even play this weekend. To be honest, he's dealing with a tight calf and the manager calls you out. Might actually help help them, to be honest, without him in the 11. He has been that bad. Uh, Dan Alexander shared it. The both teams to score that continues to play for Colorado, plus the over two. And I've got <laughs> both teams to score and Colorado to win this uh, game at plus 185. So TFC just needs to score in this game. I will give TFC a little bit of credit. They did it against Colorado, and they especially do this in the first half. They dominate games on the ball in the first half. In the second half, they cannot maintain. Teams adapt. They're the worst second-half team 
across Major League Soccer. If there was a live bet to be made in this game, ladies and gentlemen, look to Colorado in the second half to go and simply crush TFC in the second. I can see this game being tight in the first half and then Colorado going away with it in the second half as well. Maybe TFC even come away with a goal early in this game. I mean, um, yeah, both teams to score and Colorado to win at plus 185. So three official plays uh, right here. All Colorado to win on the money line and all with some kind of combination. The over one and a half at even money. I'm getting a little bit more greedy, hoping that TFC will score a goal in this game at plus 185.